I loved it, you know. It was something that was very heartfelt, very meaningful to me. And I probably would have stayed in if it wasn't, you know, for my daughter getting older and needing a mother full, full time. I was in a medical dental unit. We uh, worked on a lot of teeth out in the field. We would set up a tent and um, like a, a full working dental unit inside of a tent. It was amazing. My unit was deployed to Desert Storm and I didn't get to go because I was pregnant with her at the time and I was very upset over it. I begged them to send me and like I think I didn't because I gave birth during that the time they were gone. Towards the last, the end of my uh, tour, when the whole Afghanistan, Iraqi, Iran, and all that stuff was really happening, um, my unit was preparing the troops medically, clearing them to go overseas. So we played a big part. Miss Michaels, she wrote a poem, and the last line in her poem, it says, the blood of heroes never dies. And I, I think that's a very strong, powerful sentence in her poem. And um, it really touches my heart. I'm very grateful for everything that I have because of my experience in the military. I think people need to get back to what Memorial Day really, really means. It should be about our fallen heroes. It should be about the families knowing that their brother, sister, uncle, aunt, mother, father is honored, you know, for giving their life for our country. It's something our family values are built around. And I think that a lot of people just forget what the true meaning of Memorial Day is.